Hey everyone, Evan and Daxon with Fishing Life 101, and today we're going to be fishing at a small pond and then going to a much bigger lake. This is like a picturesque morning out here. It's nice and cool. It's There's an overcast today and it's supposed to be overcast most of the day, and it just looks serene out here. So to start this morning out, we're going to be targeting mostly panfish, like um, some bluegill, red ear, bass, maybe some crappie. We're going to kind of see what's in here. We've never been fishing here before. The plan for this morning is too, is that whenever we leave here, we want to have a few bluegill to use as bait for catfish bait on the main pond. Because the main one's much bigger and there's catfish and there's not any catfish in this pond that we know of. First big catch of the day, I didn't hardly feel him on there. He was just jumping around a little bit. A little bluegill, caught him on a worm. So we're just throwing out a worm and it's just right on a bobber. Bobber slips down a little bit though. I'm just gonna throw it right by this little log out here. That's where I caught the last bluegill. Trying to see if we can catch some better bluegill now. Nope, oh, there we go. A little nibble there. Probably just a little bitty bluegill or something. Got something there. Oh, he got off. One what thing. Was that? Some kind of a sunfish. Oh, got something there. What is it? Oh, a green sunfish. Green sunfish. Yeah. Which one? Long new sunfish? Nope, green sunfish. Where's the bucket's all the way back over there, though. Green sunfish will work great for bait. We just need more. Minnows probably would be the best thing for them. These green sunfish, they're more of a fish eater than bluegill are. Is she cold? Yeah. Thaxon's looking for minnows. It's one of his favorite things to do whenever we go fishing. There's some big minnows in here, too. They're monsters. Hey everyone, so we're trying a second spot now. The first spot didn't produce many results. Just uh, one bluegill and the one green sunfish. We ended up keeping the green sunfish for bait for later. Right now we're just gonna try down by a little spillway down here where Daxon is. We're gonna see what we can catch. Really pretty neat looking down here. The water's fairly clear. See if there's anything in here. Okay, you don't have to throw it real far, okay? That's good. Caught a little large mouth here. That's the first thing we've caught. We had a couple bites, but nothing Daddy, really. Let, let me get the hook out. I can get the hook out. Mm -hmm. Oh, pull out now. Yeah. Just like that. Yep. I'm just gonna throw it back. Be any to wonder if there's anything in there. Throw them back, okay? Going throw it back where all those beetles are. There's a bunch of beetles in the water, and Daxon's gonna throw that fish right back there. That's what his plan is. one was on almost as soon as I threw it in. I didn't know if I had that or a snag. Dad, let me have that. I can catch one. I won't catch one. So if I catch something on a certain bait or a rod and reel, that's exactly what Daxon wants then. He wants to use that one. We'll try to catch a couple more here. But we're wanting to go up by the dam so we can get some big catfish. Okay. There's a little red ear, a little bitty guy. Can you keep it? No. Watch my eyes. Yep. So we've been in this spot for a little while, guys. We came here. This was the first part on the dam. But it's a little bit windy out here, and it makes it hard to keep the baits right in the water and keep the lines from blowing around. 
since we're a little ways from the water, there's probably about 20, 25 feet of line before it hits the water. So we're gonna try to move down this way somewhere. Okay, yeah, wait. You almost got it. There you go, good job. You hold them up to the camera? Yeah. Number five of the day, nice little red ear. Little guy though. Let's go ahead and throw him back. Well, Daxon gonna throw him in a special spot. Daxon says all the fish live over there. He's gonna go down and throw them in the water. He wanted to show you guys his special spot. Overall, we haven't caught too much today. Yeah. yeah. Getting bites. They must be real little guys. Oh, lost another bobber. I don't know. So we've been in this spot for probably 45 minutes or so. I haven't really caught too much. We've just caught... Running around. That's, you're wondering what that noise is. Running around balking like a chicken. But we've been here for a little while. And we're going to go ahead and pack up and head back to the truck. It's uh, We've got what, one red ear sunfish from here, I believe. So... Overall, we didn't get too much this this place or most of the other ones. That makes five fish for the day. So this lake that we fished at today, it's um, it'd be a lot easier to fish with from a boat, and there's not a whole lot of shoreline access to it. So I don't think we're going to come back here until we get the boat up and running, which we're still waiting on the VIN number for the trailer. Since in Indiana, you have to title a trailer. So it might still take another month. It's a pretty slow process. We've already had the boat for almost a month now. Hey, that's been pretty tough fish. So it might be a little while before we come back here, guys. But it looks like it'll be a great place to fish from boat. It's just a shoreline. You don't, you can't really fish too much from it. But we hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Look for more to come in the future. And subscribe. <laughs> and we'll see you guys. See ya.